Today we are back on the Wind Chaser map. The job for today includes building a gravel pad and hauling a mobile home into place. We will be using a variety of equipment which includes a 2019 Ford F750 hauler truck, a 40 foot PJ loaded with a Massey Ferguson skid steer cat dozer and we will also be using a Freightliner dump truck to haul the material over to the job site. And now the trailer is fully loaded with the equipment strapped and ready to go. Let's get hooked up and head on out. Once we build the gravel pad using our equipment, we'll head over to the local uh, factory and we'll use this F750 to haul the 45 foot mobile home into place. I'm excited to do today's job and many of you guys have been requesting me uh, to do a mobile home video. This F750 here is one sweet truck. Really do like the crew cab in it, Ruby Red. This looks pretty cool. Awesome bed. And this is pretty capable. And it's going to be perfect for today's job. I hope everyone's having a great day today. Let me know how it is down below. My day's been going pretty good so far. Has been a bit busy, but I'm excited to be back here doing uh, some more jobs and projects uh, uh, and doing some great videos. Now we are actually going to be uh, passing by the factory, you guys can see there it is, the 45 foot mobile home we got to put in place and that should be uh, pretty exciting to uh, kind of haul down the street and uh, luckily it's less than a mile uh, from the factory to the location. So our customers bought just under half an acre of land and they want to uh, put this house into place. That kind of is pretty sweet. Uh, first time landowners and we are arriving here at the job site. Get the hazard lights on, get uh, the trailer unstrapped and we'll put the ramps out really quickly. Let's take a look here at the brand new uh, Freightliner Workstar dump truck. This is pretty sweet. Really do like uh, this dump truck quite a lot. You guys can see we even have a cover over the gravel which is pretty sweet. One awesome truck. So let's hop in the dozer and we'll be using this to kind of clear the grass, get it all ready and then we'll run the skid steer over it with the uh, power rake. If you would like to see more videos here using the mobile home, please let me know. I really do use your feedback to improve the channel and the videos. Now, let's kind of see. So right about here uh, seems to be where they want it. So we'll get this lower down, ready to go. And it should uh, kind of work right away. There we go, you guys. Since he's already scraping away at the ground. This is a big project, but we should be able to handle it in one day. And we'll go a little bit more. The gravel pad, they said, could be bigger than the uh, actual mobile home. So that's kind of helpful. And uh, we'll use the uh, skid steer with the bucket probably to kind of spread it out. Now on one side, we will have a gravel driveway. So we'll make it probably one more pass. and yeah, Maybe a half pass more than that should be good. This is my first time getting to use this new uh, cat dozer. You guys can see it's pretty good. We actually have a winch on the back and I really want to try that out. So maybe we might remove a few trees and kind of drag them behind or kind of winch them up the side of a hill with this. I think that that would be a pretty sweet thing to do. And it's nice to have a winch on the dozer. So that looks to be good. Let's kind of... Uh, move this off to the side. Now backing in that mobile home will be uh, pretty tricky and challenging so we might have to move some of the trailers around. We'll just leave this here to the side and let's hop in the skid steer. Now in my videos I do like to use some uh, unique equipment and I always do like using new things. You guys can see this is, it's an old Massey Ferguson. It's the first time I'm really putting it to work. We have it at the lake house but we haven't really uh, tried it out. So this is the first time I really want to see how this works. Even though it's old it still does the job and it's a bit simpler as well. If something breaks on this the parts are a bit cheaper. Now we are here on the wind chase map. I really do prefer this map quite a lot. And this is the edit I've done to it, adding uh, just around 40 to 50 houses.
yeah, nice smooth rake, just kind of smoothing out all of the dirt and then it will spread out the gravel. I hope everyone has, has had a great summer so far. Mine's been a bit busy. Went on a few trips. I went to the beach quite a lot. Let me know how yours is now. School is here. I hope everyone is excited for the school year. I will have quite a lot of work, but I will always continue to uh, feature YouTube videos here and uh, just make these videos. It's a great hobby and great passion of mine, and I really do appreciate all of you guys for supporting the channel. So let's first get the uh, bucket switched to the skid steer, and then we'll uh, get out that. Now I have tested the dozer, it actually does not have a working blade. really do wish we could have that, that would be a pretty sweet thing to be able to push a big mountain of gravel and spread it out uh, nicely. From the timing, it looks like we are pretty good on time for today, it's just past noon, and we should be able to get this done uh, before uh, the end of today. I really do like how simple this skid steer is, guys, since the manual controls, it just works and it does the job. We'll leave this running here at the top into uh, this truck. Really do like this dumb truck quite a lot. Big shout goes out to Expandables uh, for releasing this. Now, since we were on the side of the road, I wanted those strobe lights to come on. They just look so cool. And that's going to get the uh, cover kind of pulled off there. That's so cool how we have that working cover. I definitely would like that on like a rack body dump truck, but I think we'll probably, let's kind of see, we'll make a pile here first, we'll spread it out, and we'll kind of see how that goes from there. Now this truck does hold quite a lot of material, which is definitely a good thing, and looks like we have to drive forward quite a bit. And I think that should be a good start there for us. So we'll just get a tip back and we'll do a section by section. Now I really do enjoy doing these videos. These are kind of a mixture of construction, uh, landscaping, so many different things. And I think that this would probably be classified maybe as excavation. So let me know if you guys would like to see more of these. I really do enjoy doing uh, different videos like these and want to continue to do them. And we are just about stuck. I think we should be able to get out of it. Oh yeah, no problem. Now one thing that would be pretty sweet is actually, looks like it might work out for us. Have the bucket down just a little bit and kind of drive and kind of scrape out some. Now this is a very nice gravel. It's a different type of gravel as well. It's more of like a construction grade, uh, more supportive than the regular one. It is a little bit different and it, it so far is good. Uh, for us. So we'll just drive on this kind of compact it down just a little bit and then uh, we'll kind of continue here. Now if you do have any cool video ideas for me, please let me know. I definitely do want to do a few more snow plowing videos uh, before uh, winter does come around, but I don't want to do too many uh, since we are pretty much out of the season. Oh yeah, spreading it out this way is a lot easier, so I think we'll just make a pile and do it that way, I guess. This old skid steer is getting a pretty good workout today. We have plenty in the truck, so I don't think we'll have to worry at all. Now this will be my first time hauling such a big trailer so wide, and I thought that that would be kind of neat to do here. The customer doesn't have a truck, and uh, they hired us to do that as well, so I thought that would be a pretty nice add-on to this, not just have it ready to go kind of in the middle of the street but let's kind of get the dump truck unloaded I want quite a lot more here what I will do since this does take a little bit of time to kind of get up there it's a little bit slow to dump but I, I do like that as well we'll just make a pile here and we'll just kind of continue that Yeah, it looks to be a pretty decent sized pile. Mm -hmm. 
very nice and smooth. That looks to be good. Now, we don't have to go all the way to the dirt, but we'll have to touch some up uh, once we do get it in place, and that's okay. Now, it would be nice to get a roller here to compact it and make sure that uh, the ground won't kind of settle and uh, the tires won't sink, anything like that. But putting the uh, mobile home on this will be uh, pretty good, uh, and it will be much sturdier than putting it on grass. Now the driveway will be right next to it with this uh, grass, we might have to add on. It really depends on how wide it is. I believe the trailer is just about 20 feet wide, so it's a pretty big wide trailer and I think we made it wide enough, so let's hope uh, that we made that good. I think once we get this spread out, we'll move the truck and uh, I do want to move the uh, PJ trailer up the road a little bit to give more room for us to kind of get in here. Very nice, guys, and see, looks like we are now getting the hang of it. With a little bit of practice, you could be pretty good at anything uh, if you take your time and really be patient and try different ways to be good at it. Yeah, it looks like smoothing out today has been pretty good. The building materials mod has been a bit different here, being now in 19, but so far it's been working out pretty well for us. There's still quite a lot in that one area that it doesn't even look like much. Probably put a buck or two over there and then one up front there. Yeah, so one more bucket in the back area and then we'll just smooth out the rest up front. There's quite a lot still left. Now we do have lots more planned here on the channel, some more homeowner series, some new projects, and uh, we will be continuing uh, to feature more and more series here on the channel, like the Public Works. I do want to do some construction jobs. They do take a little bit longer to kind of get set up, and uh, once we do get those construction jobs, that will be pretty sweet and exciting. But that looks to be good. We'll just empty out this bucket, and we'll get prepped for the big mobile home coming in. Perfect. We we'll drive on it once, and this bucket is also smoothing it out quite a bit. Awesome. So let's move the uh, skid steer to the side. I would get loaded up now, but that would take a little bit too much time. And let's move the uh, dump truck. And I think right about here looks to be good. So let's kind of head over there to the factory and then let's get this. So it's a brand new mobile home and it's actually in a very similar red to this truck, which is pretty sweet. Now I think we might have to move the uh, dump truck. Yeah, more than likely we'll have to move it. Let's kind of get moved now. That way we don't hold up the road too much. We'll put it in front of PJ instead. That looks pretty sweet, you guys can see pretty big gravel pad. Now the final stage is to get this uh, put in place. They already did everything, we just have to get uh, show up, get attached to it and haul it back. Now I really do like the look here of the new uh, big, big Super Duties like the 650 and the 750 and this truck looks pretty sweet, especially in the crew cab. I really do like that and this is one awesome bet as well. Perfect, so it looks like we are good to go. There are flags on it. Everything's uh, ready, so this is pretty wide, 20 feet wide, uh, but we should be able to haul down the road no problem. Now, you do have to get a permit to tow this, uh, which the customer got for us. Just look at how long it is. I mean, that is pretty big. Even an oversized load uh, sign on the back, which is a pretty neat add-on. Yeah, it looks like the pad is long enough, which is awesome. Now the challenge is to get this backed in, so we should be able to get it on the first try, probably. 
Oh yeah, look at that. First try, and it's going right in place. Perfect, so it is long enough. It is a pretty close uh, fit, but that looks pretty good. We'll just kind of put it over here to the edge, and that way the uh, gravel uh, in the front end is also for the uh, driveway so you guys can see that looks pretty good we'll get it folded out and there we go guys we did it and we built the gravel pad and we got to haul in the mobile home here but hope you guys enjoyed it thanks for watching stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more